So a number of people have said that because of the way iOS is rendered on the new iPad Mini 6, that the uh, interface has become too small. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So we're going to go ahead and go into settings. And the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to home, home screen and dock, and we're going to turn on use large app icons. So we're going to do that. And you can see automatically we've got some improvement. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, these borders are driving me crazy. Personally, I don't mind them because I've got bigger hands and I like having the extra um, real estate on the side. It helps my hands to not feel so cramped. So we're going to go back into settings. We're going to go into accessibility, okay? And then down here from second from the top, zoom. So we're going to tap on zoom. We're going to turn zoom on. Now, what's going to happen is... Um, you're going to see everything suddenly just blow up. And I know that for a lot of people, this can be a bit dizzying, so fair warning. So I'm going to turn on Zoom. All right, so we're in Zoom. And you can see the circle with the arrows. That is the Zoom controller. And as you can see here, Zoom can magnify the entire screen. Now, there are some gestures. You can read these at your leisure. But there are some gestures you can use. Personally, I do not use them. I prefer to use the zoom controller. And the really cool part is you can tap and hold and you can move the controller wherever you want. Myself being the southpaw, this really helps. You've also got things like follow focus and smart typing. And what smart typing in particular does is that it will go from its current full screen mode into windowed mode. So what we do is to show you an example of window mode, we're gonna go ahead and tap the controller, and then we're gonna to go to choose region, and then from there we're going to go to windowed zoom, and you can see right away what the difference looks like. So, in, ad in addition to that, we've also got a new option here, it's resize lens, so you tap here, and you can see these four handles have come up, and you can resize the lens accordingly. Now, with smart typing on, what's going to happen is this lens will pop up if you're in full screen mode and allow the keyboard to not be uh, zoomed in. One of the other ways, incidentally, if you want to hide the controller, it, um, because there is an option to do that, again, so if you tap the controller and then there's an option to hide the controller, we're going to keep it up for now because um, I personally do not like to hide it. I like to use it. But if it is hidden, you can get to that same menu by tapping the bottom here of the uh, lens menu. So, again, we're going to go back into uh, full screen. So we're going to say choose region. We're going to say full screen zoom. There we go. This slider at the bottom is your zoom level. And uh, there's also, over here, you got keyboard shortcuts. So we tap on that. And these are your keyboard shortcuts. Now, if you use the zoom utility on the Mac, this is going to look very familiar because it's exactly the same. So you can adjust the zoom level by using option command plus or minus. I realize here in the description it says equals, but I've always um, I've always uh, referred to it as plus. Control option plus and minus. Control option eight to switch the zoom on or off. And the reason is because if you turn the le the number eight sideways, doesn't it look like a pair of glasses? I've used the zoom utility since Mac OS X Jaguar, way back yonder. So I'm very familiar with these. Uh, you can also move, if you're in windowed zoom, you can move the uh, window around by using the arrow keys. And then below that, we have some other additional options here. Control option F to switch the zoom region, which actually I'm going to turn on. And I want, there's also an option here to temporarily toggle zoom, which for me, in my case, I'd rather not have it temporarily toggle, but you can do that if you wish. Now, in terms of using the keyboard shortcuts, if you are planning on using AirPlay with this utility... I have to warn you that for some reason, I cannot get the uh, AirPlay menu to cooperate utilizing the Zoom utility. So if I go into Zoom here, we tap, we bring down our control center. So what we're going to do is the AirPlay option, tap here. Now for some reason, screen mirroring controls cannot be accessed. In fact, I think the bulk of the control center controls cannot be accessed with Zoom and AirPlay both enabled. It's really, really weird. It doesn't make any sense to me why this is happening. Maybe it's just a bug and I'm not really familiar with how to fix it. But that aside, uh, this is how the Zoom works. So that's how you fix the small screen issue on your iPad mini. Hope I helped. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and have a nice day.